Welcome to Bowser Land. My name is RJ and thank you for joining me in the search for the Hidden Luigis in Super Mario 3D World. I have some really cool Hidden Luigis to show off here in World Bowser. Let's jump into World Bowser 1 Spiky Spike Bridge. So you guys are going to want to come to this first warp blocks and just come down to the bottom of the platform, switch up the camera angle, and you can clearly see the 8-bit Luigi right there on the side. This is World Bowser 2 Plessy's Dune Downhill. Once you guys get done with the Plessy riding section, just head to the top of this area and you'll see a very large 8-bit Luigi imprinted into the ground. Let's head to World Bowser 3. Here we are near the checkpoint flag in the Cookie Cogworks. You have a Sprixy here. We'll need to use her binoculars to look on this wall to the left where you can see an 8-bit Luigi. Let me see if I can try to point there for you guys. It's right there. All aboard the Bowser Express. If you guys look right there next to Luigi, you can see a tiny 8-bit Luigi on the side of the train. You can definitely see a resemblance. Here's a pretty cool level, World Bowser 4 Footlight Lane. Definitely has great music and reminds me a lot of the Mario Galaxy series. Now if you look at the back of this first thwomp here, occasionally you'll see an 8-bit Luigi show up on him as he's crushing the ground. He doesn't always show up, but if you look closely, he'll be there every once in a while. After you get done with the Plessy section here in World Bowser 5, the Deep Water Dungeon, just climb all the way to the top here using your cat suit, and you'll see an 8 bit Luigi crouching behind a brick. One of the coolest hidden 8 bit Luigis can be found here at World Bowser 6, a beam in the dark. It's not one of my favorite levels. They force you to ride on some slow-moving platforms as ghosts try to get you, but you do get to see one of the coolest 8-bit Luigis. Just wait until there's about 30 seconds left on the timer and then jump into the flagpole to show it off. Now, I will say, sometimes it does not show up. Not too sure why, but uh, I do recommend hit it right under 30 seconds. And there he is. 8-Bit Luigi, the man on the moon. Alright guys, here we are at Grumblump Inferno. I'm actually going to show you a hidden 8-Bit Luigi that I have yet to find documented. I could be wrong about this, but I actually found this one myself while exploring before recording. Can't wait to show it to you. Okay guys, so you have these blocks here that flip around and what happened was I saw an 8-bit Luigi on the bottom left hand corner of one of the blocks. In fact, it's the next block that we're about to come to. Uh, I think what has something to do with it is you have to ground pound the block. Of course, that's what makes them from happy to mad and they go faster. So I'm not sure exactly if you have to ground pound it a certain number of times or what, but I'm telling you, I definitely saw one. Now, there it is right there, guys. I'm not exactly sure what it took to get him to show up, uh, but we at least have proof there. Um, this time around, I did not stomp on them or anything because I thought maybe doing that was what it took to make the 8-Bit Luigi to show up. But apparently that is not the case. <laughs> at least we do have proof, and we know that there is an 8-Bit Luigi found on these blocks sporadically, and uh, we don't know exactly what it takes to make them show up. Let's check out a couple of hidden Luigis found in the overworld area. Check out the Ferris wheel guys, you can see 8-bit Luigi going for a ride. If you guys come over to the other side past World Bowser B and change your camera angle up, you can see the hidden 8-bit Luigi right here on the side of the wall. 
Let's jump into the last level, World Bowser Castle. The final hidden 8-bit Luigi I will show you guys in this episode is located here at World Bowser Castle, the Great Tower of Bowserland. You're going to want to come to this car over here, which is already trashed, continuously hit it with one of your attacks, and eventually you'll see a hidden 8-bit Luigi flying out of the bottom. There he goes. Thank you guys for joining me in this episode. Make sure to stay tuned because we're heading to World Star. I'll see you guys there.